They're measures that were designed to protect pedestrians, but they've actually become hazards for them instead. Some bulb outs installed in Chinatown are broken, forcing people to watch where they step. Kimberly Speakman has a story that's new at 9. Kimberly. Bridget Howard, the bulb outs were installed about two years ago, but many of them now need to be replaced, and the city tells me a more permanent solution will be coming. Some are bent, some are broken, others have tire marks, and some are nearly gone. Residents say it's a problem. It's so dangerous because when vehicles drive by, they can hit that and they damage their tires. Pedestrians across the street, they can trip and fall on that. Especially nighttime when it's dark, people can't really see. The city says they're currently taking a look at how many need to be fixed. These are a little bit of an old standard for us, so we'll probably use some other materials just to do some temporary repairs. She says it'll take about one to two months to fix the delineators, but they'll be gone by next year. We are planning to replace the bulb outs with some more permanent, more aesthetic and sturdier materials next year. Um, so we'll have some nice metal bollards. Last year, something similar was installed in Las Vegas to help protect pedestrians on the strip. SBL says even though they're not as sturdy, the bulb outs have been working. We certainly um, have experienced lower crash rates, um, so we are improving safety out here, and now we're interested in making the installations more permanent. Some think it's a good idea. Well, if they put input like seal poles, I think it'll be safer because people will have to drive slower. Others say they've already seen how the bulb outs work and they think it should be removed altogether. They're worried about hitting the, the boulders, so they're not concentrating on the road, so they're not watching. The pedestrians are crossing in front of them or behind them. The steel bollards will be installed on Pauahi Street, crossing Mauna Kea, Smith and Nu'uanu Streets. There's no word yet on how much these will cost. Now, there are no new bulb outs planned, but the city says they will continue to look at ways to improve the downtown area for bicyclists and pedestrians. Back to you.